Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio Bob's Mods. All right, so rather than take this stuff all apart, I'm going to do this. Everything's running, right? It seems like everything's good. This is just going to continue to run. We're going to just pull this wood down and we're going to route it over and get it to the bus and we'll leave this disgusting area of the factory uh, together and we will start doing science over near the bus and eventually Eventually, the majority of work will be getting done over there. I'm probably not going to focus on disassembling anything until we have robots, just because it's too much work. Also, I'm going to take some feedback into place from the the Steam release campaign, the, the non-Bob's Mod version that we did, and uh, probably try to avoid doing a lot of, like, solar-type stuff on camera. Not that we're to the point of solar yet. I don't know exactly where I want to route this. I think we want to bring this down. Should be there. Nope, not quite. Eh, it's fine. Okay, so we'll have some gears. A lot of the, a lot of the feedback in the previous episode said yes, we should definitely bust gears. Um, and I think that's a good idea. So let's go ahead and get some stuff being made. We need more of these. I don't have enough basic circuit boards. We need to get some basic circuit boards being made. The wood should be on its way over. There it comes. Good, good. Let's get some wood being made. Uh, wood's gonna be some. Of these guys electronics assembly machines we're gonna go like here leave some space between the assembly areas not a huge amount one two and three this is not gonna be a uh, a bust area no, it's actually the other way around isn't it you're supposed to be copper coil that's wrong Okay, we got fast inserters. We gotta go like one, two, three, three, four. Uh, you need to get your wood input. And then as far as output goes. The nice thing about this like this is you can actually go four. You can go directly under it. So we could do something like this for now. I like this. This looks fine. That actually powers the whole thing, just like that. Okay, so some underground belt. Bring the wood up to here. That's wood and copper. This is the only thing using copper right now. Look at that, we're having to make, make circuits out of our own. And our inventory is horrible. This is horrible. Stop making circuits. I want you to have to do that. And actually, you know, this thing's gonna need, probably need a lot of copper. Let's get these guys right back down again onto the bus. Let's have you go under again. That covers that. We should probably get um, a military compound, you know, making some some more bullets over here for us. Pretty sure this ratio is correct for now. I know that it is 3 to 2. We don't seem to be limited by anything here, so this is uh, it's an acceptable amount. And if we want to make more, all we gotta do is turn this guy into a splitter. Shouldn't be a bad idea right now. I think we're gonna need more than just this. This does not feel like enough. We need more basic. We need we need more of the advanced stuff as well. Now I had set the advanced, not advanced. Sorry, I keep calling it advanced. These are just the basic ones. Not even that complicated. 
Gotta go all the way back over there to pick some up. And we need to set up some... Get some tin being smelted down here for the bus. Get the lead being brought down. Truth be told, we should probably just have uh, a little bit of extra belt and bring down both of them. Doesn't need to be a huge amount just yet. We will do a single belt for each. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh... Well, if I reverse the copper, or if I stop needing the copper, then we'd be fine. Somebody said something about pressing F5 and you can see the updates. I, I don't know what this num these numbers mean. But we're still getting 60 FPS, so for now I just think we'll just keep all the mods. Um, but if we do end up having any kind of slowdown because there's too many, then we'll do that. Alright, stop rocking. For now, let's just create a spot here where we can... Kind of hideous, honestly, but... But who cares, right? All that matters is where it, that it gets where it needs to be. So you are going to be my lead. Let's, uh, let's stop doing this for now. I think a regular electric mining drill is totally fine. Let's uh, only use one side of the belt because we don't want to over overuse it. Like, if we don't need it, then why resource it? I mean, we actually have biters. Let's put the lead in there. That's the lead. Let's get the tin on a belt. We were making carbon. I've already brought coal down. So this tin ore. Again, I don't want to shut this region down, so I'm just going to create a splitter here. We'll bring him over. Squirrely like crazy. I'd like to have some walls. I'll get tin over there. We can create a smelting area for the tin. Now that we have this fuel here, we can actually do this. Some of these. Keep them running for a little while longer. And since I want to make sure that this stuff does run for a while, we'll just throw as much coal into there as we can. We're working on flights. We've got some crude stored up. Seems like we're still doing pretty well on wood. Let's slow another up. We've got wood backed up. And plenty of trees available here, so it looks like the speed with which we can produce wood needs to be better. You are overproducing this guy. Some steel. Ooh, thousand steel now. It's not bad. Okay, let's stop making bullets up here. Um, I'm actually gonna shut down this iron because I don't think we need this. And I'm gonna shut down the steel. Okay, um... For that... Transport belt production could be better.
Okay, so science is still working out kind of okay. We're sort of low on red. There's not enough gears. There's not enough gears because you are just never getting enough iron. Despite the fact that these guys are all working. It's a good thing we're relocating research. This thing doesn't need to be here because we're not going to do anything with wood anymore. If they were closer, we could just do that. I try to clean up this belt a little bit. Not that it makes any difference. Pollution is still a little ways off. We shouldn't have any concerns about getting attacked for a little while longer. Let's grab some of these so we have them. Let's grab some of these so we have them. Put all of those in there, and then we'll grab the rest of these. That way we have 500 of the basic circuit boards, and the rest of them can turn into these. You're lacking these guys. So you're just being held up by production speed. Okay, that's okay. Okay, we're gonna have to make some chemical furnaces down there. Uh, we can make the solder plate just by using a chemical thing. Okay, so we're good to go. I think we're ready to go. Let's do one more thing over here. And then we can go work on the bus a bit more. I'm going to add a few more storage tanks. Just in case the oil actually gets backed up. I don't want to run out of storage. Well, that'll certainly run for a while, huh? Game's running fantastically today. How are we doing on walls? Wall production's okay. I don't think we need any furnaces right now. Bricks, we could use a couple. No, we're doing... Yeah, we'll take them all. Why not? I want to get some steel furnaces being made. Steel plate and brick. Get everything we need right here to make it happen. I prefer for this to be automatic, but I have a hard time reaching around it. Oh, that's not right. We'll slowly get some furnaces in. For now, let's just make a bunch in our pocket. Get these things going. Let's get the brick upgraded, these things upgraded. They're just far more efficient, so we really want to use them everywhere. Let's not worry about this area, though. This is very messy, but hey, it's making steel furnaces. That's all that really matters, right? Bringing this stuff down. Okay. 
Okay, so we could create another smelting area here. Have to redirect this a little bit further this way. I'm gonna end up with gobs and gobs of board. I was considering expanding this. This is this is enough right now to get red and red and green science going. So now the question is, do we want to do red and green science? on the bus, or do we want to just have a red and green science area? We make it separate from the bus. We're going to have to do the same bendy dealy here. So... I'll get the other side of the belts filled up. It's still going to prioritize some of these down here. We just want to upgrade all of them. All right. Automated construction is now complete. We've got this thing here. This is uh, something related to trains, I guess. Kind of looks like a train. I don't know. Sure. Except we're working on ghost time. After that, why don't we get some solar? Why don't we get some... Resource monitor? Get improved boilers and stuff. Just, you know, keep working. Keep working on stuff. Sounds good. Could do research like up here. I mean, I'm planning on doing oil over here. There's all this space up here. Why don't we do that? Why don't we get, um... Get everything we need. I didn't bus transport belt, it's being put here, but you know, transport belt's used in a couple different things. We could just put it on the bus. Would that be crazy? Might be. Right now it's just my personal supply and I can't use it for anything else. Um... Uh, let's see... Come on, that's enough of these. Let's go. I feel like I need some more defenses here. I suppose for now I will just get some basic stuff being made that I want. Like, I do want... Um, I want science labs being made, actually, because I think we're going to expand it quite a bit. I want... regular mining drills being made. So we're going to run a hybrid line vertically here that's going to give us just quite a few of the basic components that we want. that. Some transport belt up there for that guy. We're gonna run a hybrid line of 
gears and the other thing. Um, let's put that on the outer belt. We'll see just how many different things we can get producing there. Okay, I want you. Coming up that way. We're going to need regular iron on this other belt. Is there anything else? Maybe some copper could be useful. Not gonna work either, is it? Um. Just kind of a lot of belts going all over right now. All right, we're just gonna make the merge point. One extra up. And we'll have to go underground there. Not a big problem, really. Alright, so you go there. I want a couple hundred of these. I want uh, just a few. These only stack up to five, I think. Make some of those. What else can we make with this this feed here? We can make regular assembling machines would be a good thing to have. Okay. Uh, to make these guys, we need the basic electronic boards. We're gonna want to make those soon. Can't make chemical plants. Uh, electrolyzers we can't make. Can't make any compressors or pumps or anything. Can't make that. Could make offshore pumps, don't really need those. Can't make the upgraded miners. Could get some steam engines being made. I think for a while we're gonna run on steam, but I don't know that it really makes sense to... to try to... You know, nah, let's just do it. I mean, why not, right? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Uh, we'll create a pipe factory there. And we'll go ahead and make some of these. So that whenever we need these, these stack in lots of, I think, five. We should also start using the upgraded fast inserters. Let's go ahead and upgrade to that. I feel like, just, you should just pretty much always use them. They're just so much better. I like the consistency of blue, 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 you know? I've always hated how the red, in, red inserters are slower. Yeah, they stack up to lots of ten. So let's say we, we we're going to want, whenever we upgrade, we're going to want twenty. So we'll let it make 20 of it for us. We can have this thing store some basic pipe here for us when it's not doing the other thing. Okay, um... Now that we have some labs. We're usually waiting on circuits, but that guy should be quicker now. Let's go ahead and get red and green science going over here. I should not be making gears on my pocket. I 
Nothing changes with Bob's mods, it still makes sense to do it in this ratio. Now let's see, uh, we have these things, but we don't actually have inserters, so you know what? Oh man, I almost just pressed Shift 4, which is my keyboard shortcut to... that I usually have for the deconstruction planner. I'm so used to playing in the other factory, no! Um, I want to have every component necessary before we create the red science setup here. So let's go ahead and we'll make some inserters here. Uh, we'll go like here. You're just going to make inserters. Actually, we have everything to make inserters right here. That's yeah, perfect. But I'm actually going to bust them. Or am I? I am... I am... not sure. For now, let's get like 400 of them stored up. To upgrade to the blues, we need basic electronic boards, which don't really need to be here. We can just run these elsewhere. I like the idea that this thing could just be expandable. Let's put the science then, like, right here. So that could be going down to the bus, in case we need it. Bust inserters is not something I remember ever having done before, but we're gonna give it a go. Let's see how we like it. I've used up most of my brick. This will be the green side, then, of the science. Definitely need to get some steel being made. And we're out of regular inserters. Okay, so... This is where it's kind of annoying that I don't actually have the... That science... Or the, uh, the basic electronic boards being made yet. But we've done some... got some progress. You know, we got some of the, the basic stuff we need here being built so that we can upgrade power easily. I think that what I'm gonna try to do for... do in this campaign is I wanna... I wanna get, like, a crazy good train system. And I also wanna just move into bots. Like... I do want bots. As many as I can get. Those are freaking awesome. Power is totally fine. Pollution's totally fine. Everything over here is kind of running, not enough iron. Keep that guy happy. Mm. Now that's the only place that our science is actually happening. The only reason I came over here was for the basic electronic boards, so we can leave now. So this tin into one of those. Let's throw the iron and copper into a machine if we can as well. Nice to get rid of those. Looking forward to having robots at some point so that we can clear out our inventory easier. We also have more steel furnaces. We should upgrade these. If they're gonna run, we want them to be efficient. Keep our pollution down a little bit. And that means... Get some iron. This is supposed to be the transport belt.
No point in having it on both sides if it's just going to be a single lane belt down here anyway. Oh, that was why. I needed inserters. Right, gotcha. Okay, more brick would be great as well. So now we need to get our gears and iron. Or copper, rather. Word's good. This is where I need brick to help me keep the layout good. Maybe it would make more sense to do that, actually. What if we did it like this? Things gonna look kinda, kinda ugly, in a way. Instead, we just go to immediately underground, which takes a half belt. And then have you go under. Works. Hey, if it works, it's not stupid. We got red and green on this belt here. And, uh, I think we're just going to extend this out. And bring it over to a science area that we're going to put over up here. Pick up in this area. Although I'd really prefer... for some defenses. Alright, good spot for a break, I guess. I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. See you in a bit.